What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today we're talking about Meg the Stallion. Wow. And obviously, we've been talking about her a long time on this platform. But finally, it has been confirmed that Meg the Stallion has told the world Tory Lane shot her twice in the feet. All right. And, you know, Meg the Stallion has been going on Instagram lives talking about certain situations. And, you know, what has been happening is Tory Lane's people have been saying something different. You know, his publicist is saying that, you know, she attacked him. He was being hit. Um, other people were saying that she did not get shot at all. And, um, you know, and, and so this has been a very aggravating experience for her. And at first she was trying to protect him. Um, cause you know, they both know that they were, you know, you, you know, riding illegally and things like that. But she was trying to keep the situation off the internet. All right. And people have been, you know speculating things about you know her her gender uh and all this other stuff but she's saying that you know it was arguing she was tired of arguing with him and basically when she was trying to leave the situation he got out and he just shot her <laughs> in both her feet now she did post a picture about what the outcome of that looked like it was pretty uh, grotesque for those who saw it but it, it's coming out that Tory Lane, and you know, indeed did that. Okay, and she's trying to clear her name because you know, basically, um, people were trying to do damage control, and that didn't work. All right, but I want to also reference an article that Madame Noir came out with a few hours ago. What is the prize for Black women's loyalty to the Black men who harm us? Okay, and and this ties into the you know this whole argument that um you know she is trying to protect this brother because he's a black man she don't want him to go to jail and you know really there is no incentive for black women um to protect black men who are hurting him right and this is another way of saying that you know here here it is black women are bailing out black men and um you know all of this and you know all of that and you know basically black women have nothing to to, to gain um from protecting black men who keep hurting them. And I, I wanna, you know, I wanna talk about this whole idea of this lack of protection for black women. You know, black women are always the victim. And the sister also talks about, you know, what is the point in rallying for these same men um, after the police hurt them and stuff like that, and but they're harming us and physically and mentally harming us, even if they're our brothers. And you know what I have to say to that? Um, it's BS, okay? Number one, as an African-American male, a man, a uh, brother who's a college graduate, um, a few classes from finishing professional school, um, I, I will speak for most black men out here. We do not need you to go out and do shit for us, okay? You, you don't. All of this about sisters' loyalty to the black man who harm us, let's just be real. If you are loyal to a guy like Tory Lane, Pookie, Ray Ray, you're protecting them. That don't have nothing to do with me. I, I, I mean, I, I just really don't care. You, you, can, you can talk about how you're protecting these guys, but you are dealing with these kind of guys. Miss me with it. Go tell somebody else, okay? I, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of this. Oh, we are here protecting them, rallying for them. Like, the, the guys that y'all are rallying for are the same guys that y'all are sleeping with a lot of times and the guys that you're complaining about. Stop putting all black men in the same box. And I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that. I know that you do have situations or let me see classes, but a lot of the brothers that are encountering the police, you know, many a times there are some brothers here and there, but you know, some of these brothers have problems. Okay. Some of these brothers have problems. And a lot of times sisters get involved with guys who got problems. And then you get involved with a guy that got problems and then you want to protect that guy from the police 
and then get mad that you're protecting a bum. Nobody tells you to get with bums. And I'm not saying this is all sisters because we know that it's not. But in this case, I'm the kind of guy that don't need you to march for me. A lot of brothers, 80%, 90% of brothers don't need you to go out and march for us because we ain't out there doing stupid stuff like this. So when you make an article about what is the price for a black woman's the loyalty to women who men who harm us, it's the same question as me saying, what is the loyalty to black men who deal with black women who deal with Pookie and Ray Ray? Nobody wants to deal with nobody like that after you get all messed up. Like, for example, what's the prize for dealing with a woman like Meg Thee Stallion? <laughs> all messed up, jacked up, emotionally messed up, can't bond with a man, too busy thotting it up with future. What, there is no prize. And again, it's trying to make y'all look better as if y'all doing something to help us out. You're not. <laughs> and I will tell you that if that's your attitude, stay over there. Trust me. Black men are gonna be quite okay because there are enough sisters that are going to get it. This whole, what is the prize for black women's loyalty to black men who harm us? Why are you dealing with the black men that harm you in the first place? And, and, and the thing about it is this, just like there are many good black women out there in the world, there are a lot of good black men out there who won't harm you. Why ain't you focused on that? And I wanna tell people here, because there's too much negativity focused on the bad brothers in the black community or the bad sisters in the black community. Look, we are beautiful people. We funny, now we, some of y'all are dumb. <laughs> but I'm just being honest, we got some good people over here, right? Why you don't focus on the people that's gonna love you? Everything is always a struggle ass situation in the community. Struggle love, struggle everything. Everything is hard knocks. Why you gotta always go through a life like that? Why can't you all, why can't you just deal with some regular stuff? Why can't we just be normal? Why I gotta go through you getting shot in your damn feet? And then blaming black men for everything. What about all the black men that Megan Thee Stallion could deal with if she wasn't hooked on Pookie and Ray Ray? And even a lot of Pookies and Ray Rays won't, you know what? A lot of Pookies and Ray Rays won't shoot no damn body in the feet. Let me at least tell the truth. You have some Pookie and Ray Ray brothers would never do that to a woman. You get with the worst possible guy you can get with. Then all of a sudden you want to throw black men under the bus. Oh no, 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 no. I will not have it. There are too many upstanding law abiding black men out there that are doing the right thing and out here messing up their life. You're going to have some respect for them. You're going to have some respect for them. I'm sorry, yes you will. Yes, you will have some respect for them. And we need to be focused on the people that treat us nice. In black relationships, how about you start, what is, what is the prize for the black to loyalty, black women's loyalty to black men who love you? See, why don't, see, that's what we need to be talking about. Cause there's plenty of black men who love sisters, why y'all ain't trying to be loyal with them? Same thing to their brothers. A lot of sisters out there will, will love you. Why you ain't worried, with, worried about them? You need to be worried about the people that want to deal with you and leave the other people alone. My grandma always told me, you, you play with a puppy, he'll lick you with a mouth. Lori Tank, Tory Lanez licked her in the mouth because he was who he said he was. And she still ain't you learn yet. She with Future. Future gonna do the same thing. And you cannot continue to go out here and mess with crazy people and expect that something's gonna be all right. It's not gonna be all right. It ain't all right. And to keep putting your own people down because a person is hooked on a uh, hood booger uh, love, that's unfair to the rest of the people. That's unfair to black men and black women. But anyways, guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Subscribe at the bell. Guys, I really appreciate all that you do. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Um, guys, I appreciate everything you're doing for us on the channel. Keep subscribing, keep hitting the bell, letting us know, um, you know, how everything is working out, guys, on the channel. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. You will see the Black Men at Purple t-shirt. You will see everything that we have to offer over here, brothers and sisters. I really thank you so much. Um, appreciate you, and as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.